to praise the Lord. No matter how it looked, I still praise the Lord. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. We honor the Lord Jesus Christ, the great God of heaven and earth, the Lord who made everything. Again, scriptures teach John 1 and 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Malachi, I believe it's 2 and 10. Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? So again, I testify for the record that I'm Jesus only. Now, I might hurt this soul of my feet. I serve and worship no God but Jesus. Right, yes. Hallelujah. He shall save his people from their sins. Yes. I want to leave a brief thought with you this morning. Yes. And I want to take my text from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Amen. And I want to connect it with Nehemiah the 6th chapter. Amen. And if you pray with me a little while. And if you allow the spirit to have its way. This message will be clear as a glass of ice water. Yes, and it will be a help to you in the days ahead. Amen. We've got to understand, church, that the word of God comes to fix a situation. Yes, if we could fix it ourselves, there would be no need for church. Amen. And obviously, many know that because that's why they're in church Amen. this morning. Yes. Amen. To be in a church that teaches the truth gives you a vehicle to escape from a situation that you might be in. Yes, to be in a false church, you praise God and worship God, but Jesus said it's all in vain. Amen. So in order for me to get a victory over a situation, yes. then I've got to praise God, but I've got to be in a place where God recognizes and where the praises go forward and are accepted in the sight of the Lord. So I thank God for the holiness church because holiness is the rule by which God measures every living soul will be measured by holiness. Praise God. And I thank the Lord that I found my way to the sanctified church. I wasn't comfortable at first. But because my soul was seeking something that the world couldn't give me, the false church couldn't give me, hallelujah, I found the sanctified church. And I sat there and sat there and sat there. I stayed there and stayed there until the word of God changed me. The word must convert the 
individual yes, who's Lord. seeking change. Yes. If the word don't change you, then you're not changed. Yes. And if you can't be changed, you can't be saved. Yes. But there has to be a buildup. Yes. There has to be a protection yes. around the seeker of truth. Now hear me this morning. Hallelujah. Hear me close. Amen. When you get saved, God puts a hedge or a wall around the individual. Yes. So as I told you in times past, the enemy, he can't harm you right. when you're behind this wall. Yes. But what the enemy can do, he can trick you psychologically. Yes. Because the only power the devil has, again, is a mental power. Right. It's a psychological power. He'll fool you, make you think that you're in the right church when actually you're in the wrong church. Right. He'll make you think you can solve this problem yourself when you can't Praise God, you can't even put a handle on it. Amen. Hallelujah, I know what I'm saying. Praise God. But once you get in the right way, then the word of God comes to give you a message of deliverance. But you have to be the receptive to the message that's going forward. The word of God comes to enlighten the individual or the seeker of the truth. But if you don't know what the word is saying, and you can't know what the word is saying without a preacher, how shall they know how do you, what they have not heard except the preacher tell them. So when the preached word come to you, you've got to be receptive to accept the preached word. Amen. And you can't fuss with the preacher. Amen. You can't argue with the main servant of the Lord. You've got to accept the preached word. And then let it apply to you. Sometimes it will shake you up. Sometimes it might make you a little uneasy. Hallelujah. Sometimes it will make you a little bit uncomfortable. But it's still the word of God. Hallelujah. And if you let the word have its free course in your life, then it will completely change you and make you what God intends for you to be. But except the mind is receptive to the spoken word, then the mind can't change the physical you. So I would this morning that you would accept the word of truth this morning, Amen. and listen close to what I have to say. Amen. We have to always look again. Amen. If you don't look again, then you can't take another view or notice. Amen. Look means to notice. Amen. Again means I've got to do something over again. Amen. I've got to repeat something. Yes. So if I take notice of myself and the direction in which I'm going, I've got to look at myself again. Yes. And then I've got to allow the word of God to be the motivating factor in my life. Yes. Once I began to put these principles together, mm -hmm. I accept the word with humility and I'm going to apply the word to my life. Then I can strive on toward the pathway of righteousness that God intends for everybody to follow. Yes. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So I thank God that one day I received the engrafted word of truth. And no matter how it hurt me at first. Praise God when they told me that Christmas was wrong. It shook me up. When they told me Easter was wrong. It shook me up. Hallelujah. When they told me I couldn't have no more Christmas tree. It shook me up. But praise God I stayed there. And I accepted the engrafted word. And then when I did some research for myself. I found that somebody been lying to me. Hallelujah. And when I found that the false church was hypocritical and been lying to me, then I left away from the false church and stayed in the holiness church. And I'm here to stay church. I want you to understand I'm here to I'm not going nowhere. And I'm happy every day gets sweeter than the day before. Hallelujah. Or the devil might attack harder. He might get a little bit more stronger. But he's only stronger in the psychological factor. But once I adopt my mind to understand the devil can't do me no harm, hallelujah, if he makes me sick, God will make me well. If you put a mountain in my pathway, God will move the mountain. Hallelujah. And if there's a problem that I can't handle, God can handle it. But I've got to trust in God through a faith process. And once I believe this thing, then it becomes a reality in my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Read from verse. Verse 3. Yes. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. Uh -huh. For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith. I sent to know your faith. Uh huh. Lest by some means the tempter have tempted Lest you. Lest by some means the tempter or the devil. Uh huh. Have tempted you. Has tempted you. And our labor be in vain. And all. 
Our preaching is in vain.